Hi, I'm Dr. Bradley Leibovich. I'm a urologist at Mayo Clinic, and today we're going to talk about renal masses. I first want to differentiate between uh, renal mass, uh, which occurs in the parenchyma, which is the meat of the kidney, versus tumors which can occur in the lining or the drainage system of the kidney. Tumors that occur in the lining or the drainage system of the kidney are very different from tumors that occur in the meat of the kidney, and those are a separate subject that we won't be discussing today. So today we're going to focus on tumors of the meat of the kidney. Uh, I want to also make sure that it's clear that when a tumor is found on the meat of the kidney, uh, these tumors can be benign or non-cancerous and they can be cancerous. The management of tumors that occur in this area is uh, often uh, taken care of primarily by urologists, which are surgeons that deal with the kidneys. However, uh, the care for uh, these sorts of problems is uh, multidisciplinary, meaning we involve multiple other specialties. We collaborate with our colleagues in radiology, medical oncology, pathology, and sometimes uh, radiation oncology and other surgical specialties. The diagnosis of a renal mass is often made by accident when somebody gets a scan for another reason. In fact, this is the most common way that we diagnose a mass on the kidney uh, nowadays. However, uh, on occasion, people will find a mass after a study which was done specifically for a symptom that uh, may be coming from something in the kidney, such as blood in the urine, pain on the side, uh, fevers, chills, the feeling of a mass uh, or uh, some other abnormal feeling inside the belly, or multiple other symptoms which could tip, tip off a physician that something's going on. At Mayo Clinic, we offer all treatment options, including minimally invasive treatments, including robotic surgery, as well as traditional open surgery, medical therapy, radiation therapy, and other options. I'm going to give you a brief overview of how we manage uh, tumors of the kidney. And we're going to start with the most common type of tumor, which is a small mass in the kidney. Uh, masses that are below 4 centimeters or uh, smaller than 2 inches in size are uh, frequently found, and uh, one option for such a small tumor is to simply keep an eye on it with pictures taken over time utilizing CAT scan, MRI, or ultrasound. When we do this, uh, as long as the mass isn't growing, in certain circumstances it's safe to continue to watch. This is appropriate in many circumstances when a person has other medical conditions that may mean that treatment isn't necessary or perhaps dangerous. Uh, or because we know that small renal masses are frequently going to be benign or very uh, non-aggressive varieties of kidney cancer. Another option for such small masses is to do a procedure called an ablation procedure where a needle is placed into the mass which is then treated by either heating it to destroy the tissue or freezing it to destroy the tissue. The advantages of this technique are that it is uh, very uh, minimally invasive. The patients do not have a lot of side effects or uh, recovery involved uh, with this sort of therapy. Another option, and the gold standard option, which we employ most frequently still today, is to physically remove the tumor from the kidney while preserving as much of the normal healthy kidney as possible. The goal and treatment of any mass in the kidney is to cure a potential kidney cancer while preserving as much renal function or kidney function as we possibly can preserve and affording the best quality of life that we can. When masses are slightly larger and it's not feasible to save the kidney, then we consider removal of the entire kidney as the best treatment option in most circumstances. When we remove the entire kidney, this can be done again with a minimally invasive approach using small incisions and cameras and small instruments through small incisions or sometimes a robotic assisted surgical technique. And in other cases, we do more traditional surgery to remove the entire kidney by making an incision where the surgeon places the hands inside of the uh, incision. Here at Mayo Clinic, we differentiate between tumors which we think to be low risk and tumors which we think to be high risk. And in cases that are relatively high risk in terms of the possibility that this is a cancer which could come back or cause problems down the road, we do some additional things such as removal of the lymph nodes in the primary area of drainage. 
for patients that have more advanced tumors at the time that they're found that may have spread to other areas of the body, the treatment is truly multidisciplinary, meaning there are multiple specialties involved. In some circumstances, patients start off with surgery by urology. Uh, some of these surgeries are uh, surgeries which require multiple surgical specialties to be involved. And we frequently consider removal of areas of spread of disease along with the main tumor in the kidney. In many circumstances, we also add drug therapy. This is done by medical oncologists in concert with urologists. And in some cases, we utilize radiation therapy, especially for areas of spread such as the bones or the brain. In certain circumstances, we, off, we will consider utilizing these ablation procedures such as freezing for an area of spread as well. Overall, the treatment for uh, renal masses in this setting is a team approach and uh, a whole team of physicians evaluates and manages these patients. Finally, uh, at Mayo we have all kinds of options for clinical trials. Uh, we have ongoing clinical trials for new and developing therapies that are available to our patients. In summary, the mainstay of treatment for renal masses is, is surgical, and uh, teams led by multiple physicians at Mayo Clinic will integrate surgical therapy with other therapies to provide the best treatment with the goal of cure and preservation of function.